When you're ready. Okay. Should I zip this or just leave it? Just leave it. I guess it's a vibe with the hair. Aha! This is my Storm era. I guess she's a superhero from X-Men. But yes, I'm in, my, I'm in my soft era, Mos. Not soft life era. Soft era. Kuna tofauti. What is the difference? <laughs> There's a lot to be said about soft life, right? I don't even want to get into it. For me, a soft era is a lot of us are on survival mode. Let me set the context. Earth is hard, <laughs> right? Yeah. Number one. Number two, all of us, I think, in many ways, are surviving out there. Whether it's the hustle, whether it's recovering from something where a lot of us are in survival mode. A soft moment or a soft era is when you find a landing place between what's outside there and your reality and what you desire. And it's like a place which is in the form of a person or something that makes you feel soft, that makes you feel for a moment that you're being cushioned in something that's holding this soft place for you. I call it a soft landing. It's like permission to feel soft for just a moment. Soft landing could be a forever moment. Is it uh, temporary in the context of relationships or work? That's a good question. I would probably say it in the context of relationships, including friendships, so romantic relationships or friendships. And what that means is you can find somebody who is giving, is almost embracing your soft or leaning into your soft, meaning you're somebody who's used to having it together, you're surviving, you're out there, you're grinding, and you find this connection with someone. And a lot of the times, by the way, these connections only make sense to you. It's unexpected. You meet someone, maybe you were gonna start off as having something casual. Before you know it, you're wondering, you're asking yourself questions, is this long-term or is this temporary? And it's not a rebound. I don't think it's necessary. You know what? Maybe we find, maybe we've made the word rebound. I know it can be problematic to have a rebound. Oh, but a rebound could also be a soft landing. Yeah, and maybe it's a, It could be two in one. It could be a rebound soft landing. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. But then again, <laughs> this soft landing, you get to experience it because it's now easier to spot the person you need um, after going through whatever didn't work out. That is so true. So you've got yeah. clarity of whatever you need. So it's easier to spot. And it's different for everyone because only you know the soft that you needed that you didn't get in your previous relationship. Right, and then it comes. And when it comes, it's okay to lean into it. Overthinkers like us, you'll start asking, is this it? Is this the person I'm going to be with? It could be. could be the person that ends up being more than a moment, or it could just be a moment. I don't think there's anything wrong with leaning into a soft landing. It can ju you just have to remind yourself a couple of things. Number one, it's 2023. I don't think we need to remind people that people can let you down. So you might have all these expectations when you're in this soft landing moment, but you have to remember that it could be a moment and before you know it, you go your different ways. Just remember that is a possibility and it could hurt you, but remember that we now have the information to know that softness should first and foremost probably start within you. There should be a moment, there should be something in you that makes room for soft landing for Janet or for Moss. And then somebody else can come and either compliment or feed into it. When they go, if they go, you still need a little bit of soft that you hold within yourself to make space for the beautiful things that can come in this life. But soft landings, give yourself permission to lean into it because only you know why you needed that. Only you know what this person does for you or to you. Only you know what it has reminded you about yourself. And if it's a moment, enjoy the moment. Yeah, a soft landing could last longer than that, right? Yeah. And it's not necessarily to heal. Yeah, yeah. What it, it could be for what? Other than healing, what would be the other reason for a soft landing? Compliment and fill the gaps. Like, <laughs> you know, what, you know, guys, you know what I like about Moss? He's so functional. He's like, this is how things work. Me, I'm there just like, soft landing, don't overthink it. Don't even ask yourself all these questions about what it's for. And it's true, though, you need that aspect. Yeah, <laughs> because do you know why you feel so comfortable? 
Yes. Because it's filling. It's filling the, the so gaps that yes. you had, you know. Yeah, it's so true. So you feel comfortable and relaxed and happy. Yes. And that's when you know it's a soft landing. Everything you've said, there's comfort, there's happiness, you're relaxed, you feel safe, you feel seen, you feel heard. Yeah. And sometimes that grows into something else, which is beautiful yeah. if you both find you're each other's soft landing in an otherwise hard world. Or for that year or two, you were just able to breathe and lean into something that made you feel whole again or just complemented the gaps that were not there. So you're right. It's a little different from a rebound. I, I know Moss and I may have probably slightly complicated and otherwise simple notion, but it's also not that simple because soft landing is layered with it's emo there's an emotional connection. Sometimes there's a physical connection. There's, it's just a connection of ease and um, an intimacy, whether physical or emotional intimacy, that you never experienced before. And suddenly you find that both of you are, you're not even maybe with other people, you find yourselves together and you've met and you connect in this way that you cannot even explain to other people. And if that's the case, maybe just lean into it without asking questions like, where do we go from here? And maybe ask those questions when the time is right. But for now, can we just lean into soft landings? Like just enjoy it. There because are, earth is hard. <laughs> these are points of no pressure. Points of no pressure, because everything else is pressure. Yeah. Enjoy the soft landing, honestly. And if you are the kind of person who needs to know for sure, when that time comes, ask the questions. And if you're still not sure of the answers, enjoy it a little longer until you need to know where you're going next. And even that is valid. Because also, how long, how long are you going to stay in the soft landing when you need to get back to combining that with the reality of the world outside of the bubble you guys have formed. Enjoy the soft landing.